just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. <laughs> Hello again, scholars, and welcome back to yet another fun-filled, action-packed episode of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger. I'm a professional artist and master educator attempting to bring you the best in our historical content. If you like this one, please give it a like, a share, a subscribe, and interaction. It goes a long way, and I have much appreciation to those that do. Thank you. Oh, you are so full of crap. Well, friends, today I want to dive into something a little bit different. I don't want to talk about an artist, but I want to talk about the guy, the man, that saved most of the art that you've ever heard of. He's an Iowa native. He's a he's an American legend. And he's a guy that you may not have heard of. But in the art world, we owe it all to him. His name is George Stout. John Wayne. John Wayne. I'm here in Winterset, Iowa, in the birthplace of the legendary actor John Wayne, a true American icon. But there's another American icon from here in Winterset, Iowa. His name is George Stout. If you get crossways of me and you'll think a thousand of brick have fell on you. George Stout is the true inspiration to the character of Frank Stokes, as portrayed by George Clooney in the film. After graduating from high school in Winterset, Iowa, and attending Grinnell College for two years, he would join the Army's medical unit and serve in World War I. After the war, he would go on to the University of Iowa where he would study drawing. He was the head of conservation at Harvard's Fogg Museum when World War II broke out and quickly he re-enlisted and directed many of the important recovery missions in Germany and Austrian mines where huge troves of art had been stored by the Nazis. Stout and a team of 15 first arrived at Normandy on July the 4th, a month after the storming of Normandy. He founded a team and organized them across France and Germany. This would be the premise of the film, however, in life, he would also be transferred to Japan as the Chief of the Arts and Monuments Division in Tokyo. He was awarded the Bronze Star and the Army Commendation Medal. Lincoln Kirsten, a fellow Monuments man, put it best. George Stout was the greatest war hero of all time. He actually saved all of the art that everybody else talks about. We are talking about the greater good! Greater good! And your what? I'm the greatest good you are ever gonna get. Now what do I know, friends? I color for a living, but that is how you do a video. Thanks for watching. I won't be wronged. I won't be insulted. I won't be laid a hand on. I don't do these things to other people. I require the same from them.